Hi everybody, welcome. It is not the 4th of July, you might think it is because of my color combo right now, but it's fluke, so here we go. We thought today's video was really important because at work or even at your internship, it is so kind of hard and overwhelming to bring up personal stuff at the office. But the reality is that life happens while you're at work and sometimes you have to bring up uncomfortable conversations to your boss, right? Maybe you're dealing with mental illness. Maybe you had someone in the family pass away. Who knows, right? There's so many things that happen in all of our lives. So the question is, how do you bring it up to the boss? So here's my advice, and I do want to preface this with it is tricky because people, you know, take and receive information differently. So the way that I like to be addressed about this type of news might not be the way another executive likes to be addressed. So I, I do want to preface this. So you do have to sort of take it with a grain of salt and kind of go with your gut. If there is some sort of company procedure in place, and I would encourage you to check your employee handbooks first before you just go and approach your boss with some sort of news. So I think the first thing you want to do is really if you can, think about what you're trying to say. I've said this before, but life is more important than work. So if that's the situation, it's just the situation. If you do have time to think about the situation, find a way to articulate it before you just plop down in front of your boss and start like, right, babbling about whatever it is. Try practicing with whoever knows the situation, whether it's a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, a family member. And I guess remember that you don't have to share everything with your coworkers or your boss, right? Like I don't need to know everything, right? It's not my place, it's not my right. I don't have any rights to your personal life. So you don't have to tell me everything. So decide what you're gonna share and how you're gonna share it and try to have it kind of fine tuned before you have the conversation. I would also encourage you to be solution oriented. What is your desired outcome? There's probably what you need and what you want. You know, maybe you need um, to take time off again for like some sort of bereavement period. And again, a lot of people have that in the uh, employee handbooks. They might already give you two days of paid bereavement leave. So check that. But let's say you really need a week, right? go in and be proactive and solution oriented, explain what the problem is and explain what you're gonna need. I think it's the job of your boss and your peers to listen, consider what you're saying, and then probably come back to you either that day or the next day with like how they can best accommodate you. What I don't like though, and I've dealt with this before, is when people call me, they tell me some sort of like, big situation and then they look at me as if I'm Dr. Berger, right? That's my dad. <laughs> and they ask me to solve their problem. I don't know what to tell them. So I really look to my team members to come to me when there's an issue, tell me the plan, right? And then I'm gonna do the best that I can to accommodate you. If there's a situation that you know is coming up, like let's say, I, I'll put it in intern queen language, right? Let's say that something insane happens and the intern queen parties the next day, right? And it's like your job to work the event or cover it or whatever it is. Um, I, if you can, you know, be proactive, try to see if someone can cover, try to be solution oriented. But again, I think that with extenuating circumstances, sometimes you can't help and sometimes you just gotta go. And when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? You gotta handle your business. That's all, I think. Bye guys.